What's going on everybody? Welcome back to a breaking news story and we have some new information about the withdrawals from the Australian Open because we have some new players who have withdrawn in the last week since we last did a video about who has withdrawn and there's some big names who have also added to the list of already big names that have pulled out of the Australian Open. Let's get straight to it. So on the men's side, we have Roger Federer, of course. We know that he pulled out. Andy Murray has pulled out in the last week because of getting COVID-19 just before the flight to Australia. So he missed the flight and he's now missing the tournament. We have John Isner, Joe Wilfred Songa, Juan Martin Del Potro. Also, Souza is not playing. Steve Johnson, Edmonds out, Garen's out. Chung, who made the semifinals here a couple of years ago, he's not playing. Also, Luca Pui, he he isn't playing. And Sebastian Corder, which is a bit of a shame because I was really looking forward to Corder. Then on the women's side, we have Kiki Burtons. We have Yastremska, who is now suspended or on a provisionary suspension because of her doping situation. So she's not playing in Australia. We have Robson, Lynette, Anissa Mova, Sonia Mirza, Madison Keys, and Kim Kleisters, who hasn't played a Grand Slam match for a long, long time. I think she's going to start her season in maybe Miami or in America, but she's not coming to Australia to play the Australian Open. So we already knew some of the big names, Federer and Burtons, but we've got Murray in there now and some of the women's. I mean, there's so many women players that are pulling out as well, but some big names. The list keeps getting bigger. Hopefully it doesn't get any bigger, but let me know down in the comments below, who are you most disappointed about? I know a lot of people are disappointed that we don't get to see Federer in Australia this year, but let me know down in the comments below, who are you going to miss the most out of that group of players? And if there's any players that I might have missed, the Australian Open, it's still going ahead with great players, but we're going to be missing some key players this year.